putting a spotlight on two of our local stores set to close and the impact this could have on their communities. One is at Jefferson Avenue and Landon Street. U.S. Census data tells us that neighbors in this zip code earn a medium income of $44,000. One in four people there live below the poverty line. The other store is at Genesee and Kilhoffer. Median income in this zip code is $31,000. One in three people living there live below the poverty line. To help all of us understand the kind of impact the loss of these stores could have, 7 News senior reporter Maki Becker went into these communities today to give a voice to the shoppers. Yeah, and those neighbors telling Maki today that this decision makes them feel like they're at the bottom of the totem pole. It's sad. A lot of the older people come here and shop. Uh, I don't know why it's closing. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. Where else are we going to shop? Where else are we going to shop? That's the question many shoppers asking as they discovered store closing signs on family dollar stores in their neighborhoods. At least two on Buffalo's east side are closing. One on Genesee and Kilhoffer and another on Jefferson Avenue on the next block over from the top supermarket when the mass shooting took place almost two years ago. These closures once again shining a light on food deserts in our communities. It seems like all the family dollars on the east side are closing. I don't know why. Uh, we're kind of like at the bottom of the totem pole. Shoppers at those two family dollar stores taking advantage of clearance sales Friday and also finding a lot of empty shelves. Disappointed because there's not a lot of like Dollar Trees even around or anything like that. They go to Family Dollars to find deals on things like coffee, laundry detergent, helping them make ends meet. Food, socks, shoes, whatever. It's just, it's convenient. Paper plates and uh, Dollar Trees and uh, things like that for the kitchen and the bathroom. It's very helpful. Some of the other stores are so marked up price-wise, you go and spend $100 and you only got a little bag of stuff. It's going to be a hardship for a lot of us, a lot of people that live in this area, a lot of older people that don't have parents. I just don't know what not only me, but the whole neighborhood is going to, going to do. Once again, we've been under service. These shoppers telling me they're looking at having to travel farther away or spend more money. Maki Becker, 7 News, Buffalo.